Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Light Series 2605 RL. It's a nice little couple's coach. Let's go ahead and start right here on the back. You'll notice that this one has your two chairs in the back here. These are both swivel rockers. So the nice thing about this is you can see you have the big rear picture window here. If you're lucky enough to be able to back up to have that beautiful lakefront or ocean side views, you can easily turn these chairs around and enjoy that view out the back. Otherwise, it's great for having conversation with anyone on the sofa or if you want to watch TV, you can sit here as well. If you uh, maybe want to be on a tablet or a laptop, you also have electrical outlets on both sides of the uh, center little end table here. So that way, again, you can plug those in nice and easily. If you have a beverage or something you need to set down, again, you do have that end table you can use. Windows on both sides there for nice cross ventilation as well as uh, great extra lighting. You see you have LED lights up top here. And then going all the way across the top, you also have nice deep storage. This is a great spot if you have some extra board games, things like that you want to stick in there. It's a good spot to put them. Nice tinted glass on there as well as the brush nickel poles. So you see right here on the off door side, you have a nice large super slide. You have your jackknife style sofa here, which I like the fact they put armrests in. A lot of times, if, uh, a lot of jackknifes, they don't have any armrests and they're super uncomfortable to sit in. Just kind of an odd feeling to have your arms dangling there. So uh, I certainly do appreciate some of the small things like the armrests. And the big advantage of a jackknife sofa, of course, this does drop down into a bed, but the storage underneath is awesome. Uh, you know, if you have a, a trifold, although it will make a bigger bed, you know, you lose all that storage. So that's a great spot to put some of your extra bedding. Or if you have larger items, if there's just another good spot for them, you can certainly stick them right under there. You see you have windows all the way around the slide here, which let in a ton of natural light. LED lights to brighten it up at nighttime. You have storage going across the top there. You can see that. Again, same tinted glass um, on those uh, cabinets as well. Now we take a step over a little bit further here. You have the dinette. So the dinette does drop down into a bed as well. You simply remove your two legs here. The table will sit right along these rails. Take the back cushions, put them on top, and that will create your sleeping space. If we take a look across the way, you see this is where your TV would be located. So I would personally recommend getting a swing arm mount. That way you can turn it around so you can see it from the chairs or the couch, the dinette, wherever you may be. But they do include the multimedia center here. So this is your radio, CD, and DVD player. It does control the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside. And again, because it's a DVD player, you can simply plug this into the back of TV and you can watch a movie. Take a look underneath here. You have huge storage for an entertainment center. Generally, you don't get that much storage, so uh, you know you can probably use this for extra uh, like pantry space. If you need a spot to put pots and pans, things like that, you can certainly stick those in there. Whatever other larger items you need, but that is good extra storage. Right over here to the side is the Norcold fridge freezer combo, six cubic foot. You can see you have plenty of room there. You have the drawer along the bottom here as well. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Right next to that is your microwave, stainless steel kind of appliance suite throughout here. Underneath that you see the uh, hood with a light and fan. And then if we get down underneath that, I like this too. This is a really cool decorative backsplash. You see it has the LED rope lighting behind it so it lights it up. You know, gives it that nice little extra aesthetic, that nice wow piece when you walk in. Uh, and also it is very functional as it is a lot easier to clean than the wallboard. And as you'd expect, right in front of that is your three burner cooktop with the front one being high output. And you have an oven underneath if you like to do some baking. You can also take a look at the countertops here. You have upgraded countertops. A lot of times you'll get a T-mold. This is a nice thermoformed countertop here. You see the uh, large sink with a sink top cover, folks. You know, without this, it's kind of a cramped kitchen, but this really gives it a lot of great extra prep space. And this is cutting board quality. So if you want to use it as a cutting board, you can certainly flip it over. The reason I say flip it over is that way all your knife marks are on the bottom, so your top stays looking nice. But you can certainly use that as a cutting board. Uh, nice big sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller one here on the right, so perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. And you have the upgraded residential style faucet there. It almost has like a slight industrial look to it, you know, kind of following that residential trend. Right behind that, you have a window, of course, LED light, some uh, extra storage up top. 
I like the fact that instead of going with glass, they went kind of with like this beadboard look. You know, it helps break up the look a little bit. But you'll see that you have good extra pantry space right there. If we take a quick look underneath, right underneath the sink, you see you have some storage right there for a small trash can. Two full extension ball bearing drawers right off the side here. So that way you have a place for, you know, some of your silverware, some of your other items there. And then as you come around to the side here, you'll also notice you have some additional storage right over here. Now you can use this for pots and pans if you want. You saw the big area underneath the entertainment center as well. Or, you know, myself, I'd probably throw shoes in here. Walk in, toss your shoes right there. That way they're out of the way, not clogging up the entryway. Another thing I want to point out is this right here, and that is the in-command system. This is an awesome system, folks. Basically, it takes that big, ugly control panel you normally have and condenses it to this right here. Super simple and easy to use. You control your lights, your slide, your awning, everything from right in here. Your water heater. Notice how you can use electric, propane, or both for quicker recovery. Water pump is right there. Uh, you know, tank monitoring panel is there as well. So, I mean, everything you want is right here, folks. It's super simple to use, too. So, uh, other cool thing is it is high. So, if you have kids, grandkids that are coming in, you don't have to worry about them, you know, uh, messing with it, opening up your slide, or anything like that. Right outside the bathroom here, you'll see you have this extra storage space. Personally, folks, I would probably use this as a linen closet. It's a great spot. You can fold your towels up or roll them up, kind of have them going sideways. But that way you have a nice, good spot to store some of those extra bathroom goodies. As I mentioned, straight across is the bathroom here. As we take a step in, you'll see the toilet right down below here. This is a porcelain bowl, so it is nice and easy to clean. And as you can see, I have plenty of room, both leg room here as well as space up top for my shoulders. Directly across, you have your sink top and vanity. You see you have storage right there underneath, which is great. Uh, electrical outlet off to the side here. And then if you look up top, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that as well. You see you have LED lights up in the ceiling, vent fan right over here. And then in the corner is the Neo Angle shower. I like this shower system because of the roller doors. That way when you're done showering and you open the doors up, all the water just goes right down into the shower pan rather than having like a swing door where then it's all over your floor. Now I'll step in here just to kind of show you space. I'm six foot tall. You can see I can easily stand underneath the ceiling. Even if you're a little bit taller though, you have the, uh, the, the extra skylight here, which does give you a couple extra inches. So if you are, you know, six, four, six, five, you can still shower in here quite easily. And you have the hand wand there as well as some shelving as you would expect in an RV shower. The bedroom does have two entrances and exits, one into the bathroom, the other one out into the main living area. Another nice feature though is this right here, which is a secondary entrance. So the cool thing about this is if you have guests that are staying the night, they're sleeping on the dinette or on the jackknife sofa, you can enter and leave the RV without disturbing them, especially if you stay up later, maybe wake up earlier than they do. My favorite part about the bedroom though is this right here, which is the residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. Folks, if you're sick of having your feet hang off, you don't have to worry about it in here. You'll uh, be able to sleep in here nice and comfortably. You also see it has a nice decorative panel at the headboard there, which is pretty cool. And you have a couple different storage um, situations on either side here. So we'll start right over here. You see you have the nice tall mirrored wardrobe. So you have a spot to hang your clothes right there. You do have the drawer here underneath. And you also have an electrical outlet and USB port down low in case you need to plug in electronics or something like a CPAP machine. Storage going across the top. Uh, you know, rather than being a shelf, you have actual doors on here. So that way you feel a little more comfortable, you know, putting your folded clothes up there. They're hidden. And over to the side, you see you have a nice shelf right there as well. Uh, and underneath though, take a look at the size of that, uh, that end table there. You have a big nightstand as, as well as your pull-out drawer, and you have some electrical outlets there too. Again, so if you need to sleep with that CPAP machine or plug in a cell phone or tablet, you can do that at night. If we take a look at the ceiling, a couple of quick features. One, you do have a vent right here, but the more important thing is this is wired for a second AC. So if you're going somewhere where it's really hot and you want that second AC, it's really easy to have that installed. And of course, you do have a 50 amp power cord to be able to accommodate that. Lastly, you'll notice if uh, you like to watch TV before bed, you also have the TV connections right up top. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at the outside features. 
of the Coleman 2605 RL. Right up front here, you have your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Super simple to get at those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you are in. Right behind that, you see rails here for your battery. And coming up the front, you have black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Another great feature, folks, great peace of mind is this right here. You have the industry's best three-year structural warranty on there. So that should make you feel good about buying this product. You know that they're going to stand behind it. Right back here is solar prep. If you plan on doing some boondocking or you just want solar, you can buy the portable panels, plug it in right here, and it will trickle charge your battery. So we take a look at the pass-through, a couple quick things. You'll see it does have a covered hinge on here. That way your hinge isn't going to rust. You don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. You also have a magnet there, so that way when you put the door up, it just stays up for you. And if you take a look at the pass-through itself, you'll see it's nice and open. Look how wide this door is, folks. If you have big items you need to fit in here, like your big executive chairs, things like that, you can easily slide them in. And the door on the other side is just as large. Of course, because this is aluminum structure, you see the aluminum going across here. You'll also see the LED light strip in there going all the way across, so that way it lights up. Uh, it illuminates the entire pass-through. Right over here, I showed you that in-command system inside. This essentially is the brain of the unit right here. Now this also is slam latch, so you can just shut it down just like so. Obviously still has a lock on there, so you can lock it up if need be. Let's take a quick look underneath. You'll see right here that this one does have power jacks on there. This one control controls both the front two jacks. There's a uh, rear control which controls the two in the back. So you can see the uh, power jack right over here. One of the things you probably can't see, it's a little bit tougher, but this one does have a completely enclosed underbelly. So if you are uh, you know, planning on doing some camping in some of the later seasons, uh, everything is enclosed under there for you. Getting into the RV is quite simple. You do have two entrances, as I had mentioned. You have two foldable aluminum steps here. You do have three in the back. I'm going to be honest with you folks, I kind of wish they would have put a third one here. It is a little bit of a step. So, uh, you know, if you plan on going in and out of here, you might want to just buy like a portable step, bring one with you, just so you, uh, you know, you have that, uh, that little bit of extra height. Otherwise, you know, if you're a little bit older, you have bad knees, a little tough. But again, it is a secondary entrance, so chances are you're probably not going to use it a whole lot anyway. Right over here, you have your black tank flush. This is super convenient. Rather than taking a hose and sticking it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, you can hook it up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Large power awning here. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch in case you need to adjust that for water runoff. And then you'll also notice the LED light strip going all the way across there. Uh, so that way, you know, you don't have to get up and hang up your Christmas lights. You can just touch a button to turn that on and off. You'll also see two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here and, you know, jam out, you can do that and just use your smartphone or tablet to control it. If outside TV is more your speed, you'll also see they have TV connections here. You have your outlet right there as well as your electrical outlet underneath. Let's take a look at the wheels real quick. Aluminum alloy wheels, which are great because they won't rust on you. They'll stay looking nice. Nitrogen filled tires too, which should hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. If you're looking to do some boondocking, you want to fill up your fresh water tank, this is where you will do it right there. It is gravity fill, so it's super simple to fill that up. Now this is your main entrance, and again, they do give you three steps here. Again, the aluminum steps do not rust. You have the uh, grip tape on there as well, so you have good traction. And then you have the foldable grab handle right here, so that way, you know, you have excellent control from the first step all the way inside. Same thing when you're exiting. Right back here is that second power control for the stabilizer jacks that I had mentioned. Right on the back here, you'll see you have a spare tire with a cover mounted on the bumper. The great thing about this setup is this is certainly the easiest way to get to a spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here. You also see your 50 amp detachable power cord there. And if you look up top, you will see this one is prepped for a backup camera. So if you want that installed, it is a lot easier to do, meaning it will save you more money. On the off door side, right in front of the slide here, you'll see you have your cable inlet as well as your city water connection. And then directly underneath that is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. 
you take a look directly underneath, you see your termination here with your gray tank valve as well as the black tank valve off to the side. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Coleman Light Series 2605 RL. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.